happened to spend some good time together talking about this little guy and Needle Felting and of course this adorable mini kit. Yes. Well, we have to wait for people to get in because you know how these lives they work. When we start, they start showing up and popping people in. So while we wait, I just want you to see me giving it some final little touches to this guy. I was going to try to tell you the type of dinosaur this is, but I just cannot pronounce that. So not a big deal, okay? So what I'm doing here is I'm giving final touches in this needle felted dinosaur. And I don't know if you ever tried needle felting before. I love it as a, a hobby. And I really love the fact that it's kind of a zen activity because it's calming to anybody. When you're felting, you can see it's going to be hard for you to listen. Can you listen to that? So you have this constant uh, sound of the needle going inside the wool. That's extremely satisfying. So you kind of forget what you're thinking about, you know, and let your mind buffer. So needle felting is known as a very calming activity. And I have, I like to make small projects like this one, and I like to make full-blown sculptures because we can look at needle felting just like, you know, something we do every now and then or something we do with kids because, of course, you can do this with kids as well or as an art form. You have all that uh, wave of things that could be done and all you really need to start needle felting is a needle felting needle and some wool like this one, just pieces of wool. And what is amazing to me is that I can use wool that really has no shape here and turn that into a sculpture like this little guy. Look at this, how adorable this is. So we are going to be talking a little bit about needle felting, but I want you to see this as a great possibility for you to have a couple of hours of a lot of fun. And again, is a way to not be stressed about things because when you're needle felting, really your mind can go to all the places it needs to go. Uh, like I said, it's a very calming activity, but you can also think about this as a gift to either a kid, uh, one of your kids or one of your grandkids. I would say it's not for very young folks because of course you are dealing with a needle. So, you know, pre-teenage years or a teenager, it could be good with some supervision uh, because, of course, the needle can hurt you. But for a, a teenager, it's just kind of the perfect thing. And, of course, for adults as well. Uh, we live in an ADD world, right, where uh, focus and attention is very difficult today for all of us. And you may have a child at home, you know, that struggles with focusing because we've, we are being trained not to focus on anything. If you think about any social media platform and how you can scroll the whole time, uh, you, you spend like seconds on every single thing. So you want not train how good it is when you're actually focus or even hyper focus right and again the needle felting is an activity that can help you with that so have that in mind because it can be a very cool gift for somebody now the kit we are talking about is this mini kit so it's a small box and again it's going to provide two to four hours of fun because that's how long you're going to take to make this cute little dinosaur. It comes with everything that you need. So all the colors, I think are four or five colors here that you get to make this dinosaur, exactly this color here. I made this, of course, using the kit. And you get two needle felting needles in case one breaks, you have another one. And you have a booklet with all the instructions. So you don't, you don't need to freak out if you never uh, try needle felting before because it has everything that you need here. Um, I, I would say it is a great uh, st uh, stocking stuffer, for example, if you want to add that or you know, if you're giving Again, somebody near you that likes this kind of activity is the perfect gift. We are offering, while we are live, 
for 15% off. So you get a great deal and a great kit at the same time. And here I just noticed that we have the name of this dinosaur. It's called Diplod Diplodocus. Diplodocus. Diplo, how are you doing, Diplo? So Diplodocus is this cute dinosaur. So I think it's a very uh, cool gift. For example, I would give this gift to a teacher, for example, and again, a grandchild, if I had one, uh, or to myself, because I had a lot of fun making this guy. Now, you may be asking, what is NATO felting? And why do I have this black thing here? Well, you don't have to have, because you're going to, you can work only on your hand with this guy, but I always like to have a piece of foam with me. The reason for that is one, I can put my needle here and keep it here the whole time. Never, I never leave, for example, just on the table. It always goes on a, on a pad like this. Because of course, if you put this on the table, it falls on your chair and you sit on that chair, ouch, it's not going to be fun. So it's always a perfect space for you to leave your needle. And it's also very easy to work with the, the wool as well. So get, grab a piece of foam that you have at home and use. The foam does not come with the, with the kit. And then, of course, inside the kit, you have uh, the, the wool, which is, in this case, is a coarse wool. And what is a coarse wool, you may be asking? Well, is a uh, 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 wool that hasn't been carded many times. So I cannot see which direction the fiber is going, right? It makes really one of the best types of uh, wool for us to needle felt, right? You can needle felt uh, with any type of natural wool that you have in your home later, because what really happens is once you learn how to make one dino, you want two dinos, three dinos, four dinos, right? So if you have wool around your house, easy peasy, right? Or if you don't, of course, you can always come to us and get more. So the idea of needle felting is to insert a barbed needle into wool. So this needle is the same needle that you would see on a big machine making felt. You know the felt that you buy per yard, wool felt? Well, it's made with really hundreds and thousands of this same uh, needle that you have here. But you can use just one with your hands like we are doing, which is the most common one. You can also buy tools that have multiple needles at the same time, but that's not the best thing for a beginner. For a beginner, it's really good to have one because you need to master that as you go, right? So let's start playing with the wool. Just before I do that, I want to remind you that this you know, guy, if you want to give us a gift, for example, for Christmas, you have this mini kit here that today, while I'm alive, it is 15% off, 50% off the normal price. And you can find it at artmakersmakery.com. It's right on the homepage. So you don't need to navigate or anything. It's right there for you while we are alive. And you can get this guy for a very interesting price. And again, it's an amazing gift. So how do you uh, uh, do with the wool? So in this case, let, uh, let's, uh, let's suppose, and I know you're going to start with the body, right? So all you need to do is get a piece of uh, some wool. The thing is with needle felting, you don't want to work with a lot of wool at the same time. You want to build up. You start with not a lot, and then you build up on that. So for example, I can get this guy here and make kind of a ball. It doesn't have to be a ball, but just create a core here for the body. And I come with my needle and I start stabbing it. So it comes together. See, just like this. I could be holding as well. Be careful with your fingers. It, it does hurt a little bit if you poke your finger. I am very used to do that with myself. So I don't even care anymore. But you start doing this with the needle and you can see the very fast it starts taking shape, right? Of course, I'm going here for just a core for the body. So I'm not worried if it's a ball or more of a cone. I just need to start creating the core. Now, one tip that you need to be aware of so you save your needles. I do have needles at home that they they are years old. They never broke. And others that may break every now and then. Is however you go inside the wool, 
you come out the same position. So if I go inside the wall on a diagonal position, I come out as a diagonal position. If I go straight down, come straight down. If I go horizontal, I come out horizontal. Again, if I go diagonal, I come out diagonal. I avoid breaking the needle. You never enter in one way and try to get out in another way. You're going to break the needle. Another thing you never do is put inside the wool and start twisting your needle. No, comes, gets out, comes, gets out, on the same position that you have started. And there you go. You can see that I already have a shape here. See, it's not a, of course, it's far away to being what I need for my dinosaur, but we are not going to be making the whole dinosaur here at all. I just want to give you a few tips on how to be successful needle felting. So all I'm doing is going out, and I am not punching the needle like this all the time because that doesn't do anything. Here with me. I have the needle here, and all I have barbed, let me see if I find a way to show you better. I have a white paper here, I'm going to put that. So only this part of the needle, very the beginning here, less than one inch has barbed, is barbed, right? Everything else is not. So all that matters for me to work is to insert this much inside the wool. So I'll, I'll show you with my fingers now. See, just this much of my needle is actually barbed. Anything else after that doesn't do anything because it's not barbed at all, you see? So w the one mistake we see and I see when I give any classes on needle felting is that people try to go hard on the wool. They go hard on the wool with a lot of force and you don't have to. You don't have to at all because only that part, that little part is actually what's making the, fe the needle, uh, the wool felt. So you see, and you don't need to go with a lot of force either. It's the amount of times that you go and the direction that you go that will make a difference. So see, I already have a cute little egg. Now, it will take a little bit of work. Like I said, this kit, for you to make this dinosaur, uh, it will take you from two to four hours. Of course, a kid would maybe take a little bit more. And you, have, you can do this in stages too. If you don't want to do everything at once, you don't have to. You can work on the body today and then on the neck tomorrow. I mean, you, you make your own rules. You do you. But it is a, a, quite a fast project if you consider that this is needle felting. For example, when I make a big sculpture of needle felting, I have a, a monkey, for example, that I did. I, I took days and days making that, right? Because we want to get it to a certain hardness to say, okay, it's ready, okay? But again, two to four hours of fun, this mini kit, uh, comes with everything that you need, so all the colors that you need in, a, in the amount that you need, uh, two needle tools, and, and a, a needle container as well, and of course a booklet that will guide you step by step how to make the whole dinosaur. So you don't, don't be afraid, you, you're not going to be alone, there are instructions here. Uh, many people can just look at, at a piece made with wool felt, uh, with wool, and understand how they would do it, because frankly, you could start anywhere and still build this guy. But this has the step by step, so you don't have to be overthinking anything, which is very important. It is a, a project that is meant to calm you, right? So you don't, you don't want to stress about it. I was talking to you about hardness, right? Well, you can, you can uh, needle felt this into different stages of hardness. Uh, there are people, there are artists, professional artists, that they like to leave it very fluffy. Others harder and others really hard. For example, Russian artists, when they do needle felting, this becomes like a rock, really. There is no give in the wool whatsoever. I go a little bit in between. So if you, I touch here, you can see the wool giving a little bit. But it never loses shape because it is hard enough not to lose its shape, right? Uh, the tail is a little bit more soft than the rest, but I can keep needle felt in this until it doesn't move at all. So what you, you need to have into consideration is this. If I am to come and pick up some 
left hairs here from the wool. It cannot undo the project whatsoever. If it, it is undoing that, then you have not needle felted enough. Okay, uh, and you can work to the point where there is no uh, wool uh, that you could pull at all. It would take a lot more time. Usually, it's good enough if you still have some uh, hair here, wool hair around it. There is no problem to that. But what you don't want is to be able to grab the wool and undo whatever project you're doing. That is very, very important, right? Now, t t think about this guy. What's his name again? Is a Diplodocus, Diplodocus dinosaur. If you have kids that love dinosaurs, I would really give them this project. Again, kids need to do needle felting with some adult supervision because we do have a needle, right? And it's not for very young kids. Uh, but again, 8, 9, 10, 11, it, with an adult beside them, they can make this. There's another very important thing with projects like this. And that is true for adults and for kids. It's because in today's world, we live a lot inside our heads for many reasons. Uh, we have been through the pandemic when we were isolated. Uh, many kids have not been to school for over a year, which causes some social anxiety, right? When they are in touch with other people. And they have sometimes difficulty dealing with difficult emotions, like being frustrated about losing something, being angry about something, all those emotions that we all have, right? Uh, and one way, to, to help with that is for them to have activities where they go from inside their heads, the feelings, to something concrete. So they come and they get this as a gift from you, and you tell them you can make this uh, become a dinosaur, that you will be able to play with it hours and hours and hours. You can put them inside your little cars, you can take them for a walk, you can go with them when you go for a ride with your parents, and it's going to be very cool. And he sees or she sees this dinosaur, and they have that in their heads, but they don't have the how, right? So then the booklet will help. Uh, them achieve this. What happens when this happens? I get from something abstract to something concrete. So something that I thought, something that I felt, to something that I have accomplished, right? And this is concrete. I can see it's not on a monitor, it's not on a device, it's real. And now I can play, I can give it a voice, I can give it feelings, right? So many things that I can do. Uh, so I'm helping that transition from abstract to concrete, from dealing with feelings that when they are here, they're actually looping to, oh, I'm happy now, I made this, right? So this is such an important thing, and we're, we're losing this a little bit, especially with the younger uh, generation. And why? Because we spend more time isolated, we spend a lot of time on devices. I mean, you, they may be having dinner in fam with the family, but they are looking at their phones all the time without seeing social cues from the other people around them. So when it comes for them to deal with difficult emotions, sometimes they don't know how, they don't know how. And this is one way you can transition from that phase into, oh, whatever I think here, if I put the work involved, I can get something concrete that I can use in my life. Maybe I haven't explained as well uh, as a therapist would, because I'm not one, but I think you got it, right? Making things with your hands is extremely important from, from all ages, you know, until, until we die, actually. It is important. It keeps our mind healthy, and it helps us learn uh, to deal with emotions. And it really all starts with making things. What do you think about that? Okay, this is all about this dino, right? A very cute dino that you can make with this mini kit, needle felting kit, and you can get at 15% off while we are live at artmakersmakery.com. It's right there on the homepage. You don't have to think about finding it. It's there for you. The discount is there for you, and you can get this to give to one person or many people, right? Because it is a very cool thing to do, and it's really not age-related, it doesn't matter. Like I said, I make this uh, as a sculptor. I love doing needle felting. I've done really hundreds and hundreds of pieces, and I'm not exactly young, right? But I can see totally how a teenager would also, and a kid, would also love to make this. Now, we made this first little egg here. 
If I were to build something like the body, I would keep on adding layers of wool to the core that I have created until it is the size that I need, okay? And the process will always be the same. I will be poking and shaping, and you can see it shapes really fast. It's just the hardness of the final uh, shape that you want that will take time because you are going to be putting the needle here hundreds of times. But you can see that I already have the shape that I'm looking for for another dinosaur, right? Look at this. Look at this. Huh? You know, there's so many things when it comes to, to kids and teenagers that you can do with needle felting. Let's suppose you, you get one kit for yourself, like I did, and you make your first dino and you love it, right? Then you give to a kid. Oh, see here, I have some... Uh, Plant material here, this is common to come with real wool, right? All you have to do is take this out. But it's extremely common to see plant material with wool. And for needle felt, you do need real wool to be working with. Uh, it can be from lambs, can be from alpacas, can be from other animals. But it, uh, if there are people that needle felt with the hair from their cats, but it has to be real. Okay, so I already have the shape here. So I was talking to you about you make your own first dyno, right? And you're going to see uh, you can get that done in a couple of hours and it's super fun. And then you give to, to a teenager or a kid that you like and you teach them how to make this again. This is going to become a toy for, for, for them, right? They're going to be going around the house, maybe talking to it, it, it. You know what kids do, they play, which we should do all the time as well. But you can go one step further if later you have more wool at home, right? Because let's say you are dealing with a youngster that has difficulty communicating, right? And sometimes when they are going through difficult feelings, they, they don't know how to express that. Well, I have here red wool, right? Red wool is usually associated with what? Anger? can be anger, right? Blue can be sadness, right? Um, green can be envy. Maybe you watch the, the Walt Disney movie out there about emotions. So you can give those colors. And you can say to the kid, so how are you feeling today? Which color are you feeling today? Let's say they pick up the, the red. They are very, very angry. So you, you can say, OK, so let's build an angry dino. And you go to the same process, right? You can even teach them how to make all the colors. And then whenever something happens that they are not able to express because they are living that moment, you can say, OK, what's going on? And let's suppose they are, they, they are envy because of the, the sibling or something. They can grab the green dinosaur and put it there. And you will know then how to communicate with them to help them go through that phase. This is how powerful toys, playing, and making is in our lives today. If only we were more conscious of all the things that we can do. And oh, they always start with the hand, right? So again, this is just a suggestion because uh, you might just want to make one have fun and that's it. And maybe look at this, if you put in your windowsill, and it's just there, and then you have a pot of plant. It's just cute. It becomes a home decor, and, it, and it's fun, right? So you can give whatever meaning you want to this little guy, but what you have to do is get this kit today. Get this kit today because the price is really good, 15% off, artmakersmakery.com, and you get this, and you do your own. You make a collection of it if you want, and then you may give to other people. It's a great gift for the holidays, right? Uh, it, it's inexpensive, so it's not going to hurt your wallet, and it's going to bring joy to, to people. I love to give this, even though I always advocate needle felting for any age, because I know many, many adults that even uh, make a living out of needle felting, but it's a great thing for teenagers as well. You know, they love to make decor for their, their room, uh, they love to collect things, and again, they can have this and then make, make others from other colors. So you can start a whole new hobby for, for them. And again, we need more hobbies, right? We do need more hobbies because that keeps our mind at ease, makes us happy, make good feelings 
travel to our body uh, and it's a way to have fun doesn't matter where we are because you can needle felt at home you can needle felt in an airplane and you can because I have many many times travel with uh, felting kits for myself and they don't they don't mind TSA doesn't mind about these needles so you can really make it anywhere in, in the break during school so it's something that will engage whoever is doing this in something concrete that is not related to advice. They are very good, I love them too, but we do spend too many hours on them. I mean, sometimes you, ha you see people that they, they cannot have a conversation without having to look to their phones all the time. Like, you know, the world is going to end at any second if somebody calls me, I have to answer. So it, it puts us on a state of uh, trying to figure out things all the time, which is not good for any of us. So if you want to have some Zen time, um, um, needle felting is your hobby because it will put your mind at ease. Again, I told you, it is satisfying even just listening to the sound of the needle. Can you listen? I do this sometimes watching TV which is not the best idea because it's very easy to poke yourself if you're paying attention to something else. But I am with my daughter-in-law and my daughter watching with me most of the time and they like the sound, even though they are watching something else. They are, because it's a constant, very stable sound the whole time, it doesn't change. And it does that things that today many people call it satisfying, right? It does that to your brain. So if you have never tried needle felting, you should. It's failure proof because the wool is very forgiving. So if you think, for example, that the tail is not exactly in the center, guess what? You can slowly reposition and make it go where you want. So it's really you don't make mistakes. And any mistake that you make, I, I, I'm not going to do this because I finished this guy, but let's suppose I didn't like this tail. All I have to do is pull this. I pull this out and I start again. So it's fail proof, it's frustration proof. Uh, so if you have a friend, for example, that she's always saying, I cannot do anything, I don't do anything right, or I don't have a finger for, for crafts, look at this, this is fail proof, okay? Okay, this is basically my message for today. Mon uh, Mon uh, I, I forgot the name of the company, can you believe that? Uh, Art Makers Makery deal time. And the deal for today is this mini felting kit, 50% off at artmakersmakery.com. I would go there right now. We do not have a lot of them. Uh, we don't buy large supplies of anything. So we have a few, and if you're smart, you get yours right now because it may be gone you know, in an hour or two, and then you cannot get it uh, anymore. This is not the thing that you find in that big online store out there that everybody goes to, uh, but you find it here, artmakersmakery.com, and you can get this at 50%, 15% off today, okay? Well, again, I want to see your dinosaurs if you make some. Uh, let's make a bunch of them. I'm just thinking that this on the windowsill of my kitchen is going to look adorable. And I'm already thinking that I need to make more. It's one of those things. Let's make, we can make other types of dinosaurs as well. But we need to start with guidance. So guidance is the kit that has everything that you need. No thinking necessary because it tells you step by step. Fun guarantee because you're going to spend two to four hours just having fun here. So what's there not to do it other than go to artmakersmakery.com right now and get it. And thank you so much for being here with me. We plan to have the Art Makers Makery deal twice a week. And I want you to be with us every single time, Wednesdays and Fridays. Yes, and you're going to love because we're going to create different things. And while you're watching on this platform, please, you know, give us likes, hearts, comments, whatever they ask you to do there. Please do that because it helps us get this out to more people. So that second that you give me a heart or you give me a thumbs up makes a huge difference. And we get, and of course, if you follow, subscribe, then it, it makes it easier for us. And next time we are live, you get a notification and you can join us, right? And then we can chat a little bit together. So until next, Art Makers Makery Deal 10.